oh my goodness, it was the most challenging thing I've ever done. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Boston and we just talk about motherhood and keep it real over here. So today, let's talk about breastfeeding. Breastfeeding was one of the hardest things I'd ever done in my whole life. It took me about four months to get like a good breastfeeding routine. And honestly, I just really stuck with it and really prayed. And my number one tip is to ask for help. Breastfeeding was not natural to me at all. It was the most unnatural thing I've ever done. I had an amazing lactation consultant. Ladies, these women are amazing. And she showed me how to do it because I was not doing it right. And it got less painful. And Milo, God is so good. In one week, my sweet girl gained a pound and a half. If you are a mama that is in the thick of it, I just encourage you to push through. It is so worth it if you can push through, but get help. When you give birth and your baby starts feeding, your boobs in like three days are going to be like triple the size. I've always had small boobs and now it looks like I've had surgery. The Haka literally saved my boobs. I did not know how to use this thing either, <laughs> but now I do. You just wanna make sure you fold the lip and then you just squeeze it and you just pop it on your nipple and it will suction to it and then just basically the suction will pull it. It's a, basically what they call a manual pump. These bags, a lot of people just use plastic bags but I really wanted some reusable ones and these are silicone. They're from Haka as well and they were super helpful. Uh, Milo does not take a bottle she takes a cup or a straw but she just never got the bottle down but i can always just put this in her bath or make lotions from it make butter i mean there are so many things that you can do with breast milk it is literally liquid gold if you are a working mama or you want to leave your child uh, with somebody and they're exclusively breastfeeding this is a mom cozy and it's just a portable one so like there's no cables or anything or even if you want to like clean around the house you just stick this thing in your bra and it does its thing i will say this mom cozy is it's the most advanced one it has like touch screen it's super easy to clean and take apart but it doesn't have a powerful suction so if you're needing to like pump because your baby is going to daycare or you're going to be gone for a couple days and grandparents or family members or, or friends are going to watch your little one, don't recommend this. I do recommend a Spectra or Medela I've heard too is a really good one. I've only ever used Spectra. This thing is powerful <laughs> and it was amazing especially at the beginning i pumped so much so so much because i honestly wasn't sure if we were going to get breastfeeding down so i just pumped and pumped and pumped and pumped and now have a freezer full of milk the spectra is really cool because it comes with like these bottles and this is just like the super classic where you just like hold it up against your boob and then you know get all the the goodness and what's really cool is if your baby takes a bottle it comes with these and you can literally and just feed your baby. I recommend to get some of these as well. They're just portable. You put it in your bra, the tubing comes out and you're still connected, but your hands are free. My last little recommendation is this pacifier. So this pacifier is super unique because it's supposed to mimic like a boob because she had a lot of trouble with latching. This helped a lot just to get those, that motor skill just flowing and helping out this mama a lot. <laughs> However you are feeding your baby and if you do choose to breastfeed or you can breastfeed, I highly recommend it and say it is so worth it. The bond and the time and just that sweet sweetness that you get with your baby is truly something undescribable. There is so much that goes in to breastfeeding 
and I'm here. So please leave a comment, reach out to me on Instagram. I'm at oboston and I will be happy and transparent as I possibly can because like I said, this journey, most complicated and difficult thing that I've been through, but I'm so thankful to be out on the other side. Until next time, see y'all later.